life I've been a smoking the rock. I'm really old and broken down. I'm thinking I should really stop. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Ford Jones. Stop smoking me, Jabroni. And Jason Amherst. If you smoke, you having a stroke? Are you all right there, buddy? Are you are you like viciously making out with somebody? Yeah. If you smell, <laughs> mm. oh, fabulous wool! Oh. You taste so good. Oh. If you smell, <laughs> that was that was fucking terrifying. So we uh, starting with three diarrhea cards today. We're playing N sixty four roulette, and we've landed on Billy's choice since he's not here. That's an extra diarrhea card. We now have four. Hi, guys. I'm here. <laughs> yep. Booby juice, booby juice, booby juice. See, that's yeah. Oh, holy shit. That's a hell of a start. What is it? I guess you'll find out. Here goes a lot of people's picks. Ooh. Uh, what a start. Ben yeah. Drown. I... I am not a fan of this game. You don't like Majora's Mask? I'm not a fan uh, either. Wow. <laughs> I was... Now, when I say that, I don't mean this to say that it's a bad game. Right. It's just... Compared to, like, Ocarina of Time. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I didn't like the whole three-day reset thing. Like, it was just... Maybe it's because I kind of sucked at it when I was a kid, but, like... To be fair, yeah. that is one of the least my least favorite things about this game as well. But, that being said, like, nothing's going to be as good as Ocarina. I mean, just, that's a high bar. At the same time, I mean, like, uh, the I can't... The version I heard wasn't that bad. I can't bring myself to say I hate this game. I mean, it's not my favorite. But I can't, I can't very well say I hate it. I didn't, I didn't, I just couldn't get into it when I was, uh, when I first got it. I take into <laughs> into it. Let's, Let's go. get into it. <laughs> Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. You've met with a horrible fate, haven't you? Mm. Where Where does this take place on the? It's directly many... after uh, directly after Ocarina of Time. Like Link literally yeah. just saved Hyrule for an Ocarina of Time right before this game started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a direct sequel to Ocarina. Yeah, admittedly, the, the Zelda timeline is in, it's about as muddled as Alabama's gene pool, but it's this one has a pretty firm place in the timeline, and it is it's it's after Ocarina. So I believe at the end of the last game, he put the Master Sword back in the temple time, and then walked away from it, and that's pretty much where we left left off, and we're picking up. Doesn't he? Didn't he also do that at the end of Link to the Past? He uh, put the Master Sword back. I don't think so. I think he just walked into a room with a Triforce, and that was it. Yeah. See, uh, the end oh, of no, no, Ocarina of Time split the uh, timeline because uh, there's no hero at the end of Ocarina. Because Link goes back to live his life as a child. And Link warns Zelda of Ganondorf's betrayal, causing that rift in the timeline. Yes. So the future's saved, and the past gets saved, and this leads to Link doing this side quest looking for Navi, because Navi isn't needed anymore. Doing. The one that... Navi's working for this weirdo in the mask now. 
Well, those those aren't uh, those aren't navy. That's tattle and tail. Oh, excuse me, one minute. Okay. School kid took the ocarina. Oh no. He's horse. Stop that horse thief. He and thieves. that is how Link died. Yep. Everything else that happened in this game after this is post mortal spasms. See, there's he's dead. And these are all aftershocks that are happening. Also, I don't know what you're talking about. Why do I have all the hearts? I I don't know. <laughs> don't don't question it. Hit hot, hit hit hood hot. Get in that tree, you silly bitch. Oh. That was pretty smooth. <laughs> Can't believe I made all those jumps in one. Oh, God. Oh, no. Please help me, I'm falling. And I love I, how this looks like a, a uh, Windows 95 screensaver. I was going to say, am I having an acid trip? Or is Link having an acid trip? Ass first on a flower, nice. Thank God that flower is there to break your fall. Or you might have died. It's not, of course it's not going to listen to you, you idiot. It's not your horse. It listens to Link. Got rid of it. If you kill my horse, you fucking dunkle tunt. Who is this? What is this thing? It's Skull Kid. It's he stole Skull Kid wearing Majora's mask. Yeah, he's whole. He he stole my ocarina and then he stole my horse and I think he killed it. Oh, not the Skull Kid stole your ocarina, excuse. That's the oldest one in the book. <laughs> um, now, now, you have my patented anti-horse stealing formula. Very expensive. You wouldn't have this type of level. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Link. Well, I don't know why I picked this up. That, that was an actual line. Uh, the cat ate my ocarina. Hmm. Oh, no. As, uh, there was a talent show, and Skeeter made an ocarina from a uh, roll from uh, the lunch counter. And uh, the cat ate it, and he's like, I can't go on, Mr. Dink. The cat ate my ocarina. Oh, not the old cat ain't your mouth arena, excuse me. That's the oldest one in the book. <laughs> mm. I'm not as versed in Doug episodes as I thought I was. I, I just remember that one. <laughs> Mm. 
Oh, goodness. While Mike figures out how to get out of there, I will regale you with a song. I'm gonna come on the back of this cloud. Why do you, why do you, why? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds oddly similar to the one that you, that we sang all on the phone half an hour ago. <laughs> yes, Mike, that's the joke. Well, it's more of an inside joke, really, but... It is an inside joke. Very inside. So inside, it's 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 warm. Ew. My name's Tattle. And we stop messing around and get moving. You're the one who stopped this in the first place, you little shithead. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you can launch yourself out of those things. Ah, I see. Yes. Just launch to the other side. Alright. So... There's quite a few masks in this game, is there not? Yes. Yep. But the main masks uh, transform you into other uh, beings. Correct. So uh, you've got the uh, Deku Scrub, you've got the uh, Zora, the Goron, and uh, the Fierce Deity. Not. You got... You just busted a nut. You got a nut. Not. Wow, you sure got a lot of hearts containers. I don't know what you're talking about. John Laurinaitis, what are you doing here? People power. Uh, Mr. Laryngitis. <laughs> Tear down this wall. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Check to check 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 to check it out. What 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 what's it all about? Hmm. All right, cool. Let's move on. Yep. You you are a... You are a drink. robot. Whoa, I'm getting kind of barfy right now. Okay. Hmm. When do these first start figuring out that the moon's coming towards them? Uh, when you get to the service. <laughs> You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Oh no, not this guy. Oh no, not this guy again! <laughs> now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. Yeah. This this guy always uh, reminded me of him from Powerpuff Girls. I kind of um, envision him as the guy from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Not he. Oh, Freaky Fred. Yeah. He'd need to rhyme everything, though, for that to be that way. And there and you go. In we go. Doom, doom. 
It's the apocalypse. <laughs> Even if we never sleep. Thanks, Tattle. Hmm. Bum, Can you take that mess ball? Eventually. But at present, it's you're stuck on it. Or it's stuck on you, I should say. Link's walking animation has a Deku scrub. Looks like he has to go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. I gotta take a dick dump. Not. <laughs> Not. There's the fairy fountain. <clears throat> oh, I guess there's a problem. Oh dear. Oh boy! Side quest! Thanks for filling up all my hearts, loser! <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> if she was broken up into pieces, why would you want to be absor absorbed into your body? I mean. I feel like that would be counterproductive. Oh. All right, I just gotta find this the the loose fairy piece. The loose fairy. She the she fairy card. The, card. the code. Yeah. Uh, eight six seven five three oh nine. Damn you, Tommy Two Tone. Don't get the don't those jugglers um have something to do with request at some point? Probably. Oh, where is the where is this confounder chair? And away we go back to the Great Fairy Fountain. Do 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 do. <laughs> do we do, we, do, we, do we. This, this song Fairy just haunts my nightmares. Yeah. Uh, because of like how freaking frantic it gets, uh, you know, on the last day. <laughs> you you're gonna fucking die. Look 
get my pointy boobies. Wait, but but Tattle said you can fight the great um, skull fucker. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, thoughts on Majora's Mask, Dane? Well, like I said, um, it's kind of a step down from Ocarina of Time. With that being said, though, it's still a good game. Just, it, I don't have as many fond memories of this as I do with uh, Ocarina of Time. It's still good, though. Still good. Jason? Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd rather play the 3DS remake because it's got some quality of life features uh, over the uh, N64 original. Um, it's I don't have the nostalgia for this game that other people do. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, other than that, it's it's basically just, you know, more Ocarina of Time, which which isn't a bad thing. But uh, I'd rather just play Ocarina of Time. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's fair. I'm be, uh, as I said before, like nothing was going to be as good as Ocarina. Didn't matter what Zelda game came after this, it wouldn't have been as good as Ocarina. Ocarina was a landmark hmm? Zelda game. Huh? What happened? What happened? But uh, in any yeah. event, this is uh, it's it's still not a bad game per se. It's just it's just it has its flaws. It's it's, it's still really good. Scores out of ten, Dane. Nine. Jason. Eight. I'm going to go nine. What were you all bitching about <clears> there <throat> while I was trying to review? <laughs> oh, well, not like the connection just kind of froze. Oh. Well, I mean, nobody on no nobody in the recorded version is going to going to hear that, so just sounded like you were all complaining about nothing. In any event, Let's get another game ready to go. Uh, we have three dump cards, just so you know. Usually when Mike leads off with that, it's not a good it's, game. It's not, I don't really want to play this. <laughs> what is Oh, God. Another, another one of these fucking games? Yeah, diarrhea card, please. Initiated, Jason. Uh, sure. Okay. I yeah, I didn't really want to play that one. It's probably for the best. Ick, I say. I mean, when you've seen one army men game, you've seen them all. And it's air combat. It's not even it's not even the third person shooter. Those are at least tolerable. Uh. Anyway, spin it again. We have three cards left, actually. By the way, because we had four when we when we did that card. Oh yeah, we're we're back to uh, so we're, we're back, back to, to three. back to the three. Well, two rather. No three. Nope, because uh, we got. We got, we one. got one from... Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Does, uh, we landed on Billy's Billy choice, here. and Billy wasn't here, so... Right, right. Uh, I guess this could go either way, honestly. It's Crave. Uh, Battle Zone? Yep. Isn't that like a tank? Isn't that a tank game? I believe so. I, if it's the game that I'm thinking of, this one isn't actually too bad. Okay. This first-person perspective is kind of, kind of funky. Do you pick that up or put it down? Oh. 
Never mind. Huh. Apparently, uh, the game still exists on Steam as uh, Battlezone 98 Redux. Really? That is interesting. Has this game been on the wheel for that long? Uh, well, the game, this version came out in 2000. Oh, okay then, no. Never mind. Because I guess the 98 kind of threw me off. I don't know, I don't know what the oldest game on the wheel is currently. There can't be, there, I don't think there's any any that's older than 99 on there. Uh, first person shooter real time strategy video game developed and published by Activision. I mean, you can't even Remade tell. Into a hybrid of a tank simulation game. Let's say you couldn't even tell this was first person shooter or uh, uh, real time strategy rather. Uh, so Big Boat Interactive did 98 Redux. Uh, this was Climax development for the N64. Oh, 98 Redux came out in 2016, apparently. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, two expansion packs were released in 98, Battlegrounds and Red Odyssey. In 2000, an N64 port was released under the name of Battlezone Rise of the Black Dogs. And then a remastered version, Battlezone 98 Redux was released developed by Big Boat Interactive and published by Rebellion Developments. Sequel, Battlezone 2 Combat Commander, was released in 99, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, bearing very little resemblance to the original arcade game, Battlezone from Atari, uh, which used vector graphics, released originally in arcades in 1980. Interesting. It's a three point nine out of ten on IGN. Oof. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Oh. That's that. That's not good. That isn't good. That's pretty doggone awful. I mean, I mean it's I'm too, I'm sitting here playing. Now. I'm gonna say I'm sitting here playing it, and it's. I don't know about three. I mean, it's it looks okay. Yeah, it controls fine. It's a I little, it's like it's... a little slidey, but like outside of that, it's like I, I don't really see an issue. It controls like Turok. See buttons to move and control stick to so it's essentially a twin stick shooter. It's not mm. really that bad, honestly. Is it a is it a perfect game? Absolutely not. But I don't think it's a three. You know, the way I would look at it is one of those things where it's like, okay, it doesn't suck. No, <laughs> it absolutely could be worse. It could be Superman sixty four. Yes. Yeah. Pat Stabber, 133. What? I don't even know what the... What it says on the screen. I, I, oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't know what it means either. I don't even know what you're supposed to do in this game. Like, that we don't even know Just, the plan of this. this I game. mean, I'm assuming I'm supposed to destroy all the turrets, which is what I'm trying to do. Did I get that thing? I must have got that thing. Ha, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, I did it. Hey, dirty. Maybe I got All you. Right. Good job, everybody. Great job, Zoidberg. Thank you, Zoidberg. I am also Zoidberg. Hey, Zoidberg, you want to make out? Okay. <laughs> Gracias. I'll do. Oh my God. Ah, oh, Lord, Lordy, Lord, 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 Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I, how did I, one of you? Fuckheads was gonna do. Ah, but both of us fuckheads did that. <laughs> That's right. That's right, you. Peter. They are fuckheads. <laughs> you silly gooses. What the? Is my dog? Oh shit! I can just get out of the goddamn tank. That's interesting. I didn't even know I could fucking do that. Oh, well, that explains that dude that was shooting at you. Yeah, you could just get out of the tank and shoot at him. In fairness, I could just get back in the goddamn tank. Kill him much faster. Just run over the guy. That didn't work. Guess you can't just run over the dude. Haha, -ha, bitch. He stopped. He stopped for a second. It made me think it worked. <laughs> Die, fighter. Yeah. I am the greatest. Are you the big brain? I am the top dog. I am the head cheese. Numero uno honcho. The big brain, I'm winning again. And now I'm leaving Earth for no apparent reason. <laughs> I am the greatest. What was that tune you were just warbling there? Okay, good talk. What, what, what are you yeah, talking about? I, I don't know. What are, you, what are you talking about? I thought I thought Jace was singing something. No, he was quoting Futurama. <laughs> the, big uh, brain. the big brain am win winning again. I am the greatest. I am leaving Earth for no now apparent I am reason. Earth for no apparent reason. Oh, well. Fucking pardon me, your majesty. Spongebob Squire Pin. Yeah, that's... Spongebob Squire Pin is right. Let's go over this mountain! I think I almost, I almost launched into fucking space. If you launched into space, or rather, spies, spies, would have been, uh, would have been hard to come back. Yeah. I was to say, is that it? Yep. Indeed it is. Mm -hmm. You say something, God? Do you say it's a zip -a -zip -a? Uh, say what? Chicken butt. I don't know why. Chicken thigh. That. See? He gets. Oh, uh. 
plastic arcade beat em up just got a uh, remake. Okay. Night Slashers. I remember that game and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's like five bucks right now. Sweet, dude. If I remember, it's a very bloody, gory kind of game. Yeah, I'm wondering if the remake kept that in. I don't know. I, the, uh, I, I have the original arcade version on my Switch. Hmm. Oh boy, if you're in the New Jersey area this Saturday, boy, you're going to want to sit down for this. You can meet oh Ken Patera at the Wrestling Collector's Door. Or you can, you know, get your teeth pulled out. I think that's the better <laughs> option. Or if you're in the New York area this weekend, you could potentially meet Chelsea King, former cast member of You Can't Be Serious. Oh. Roller derby. God, Mike. God, Mike, you tie wearing fur. <laughs> tie wearing fat, 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 fat. <laughs> oh, hey, hey my scribble. <laughs> you both fucking said that at the same time. Beautiful. You, you big beautiful fat man. Ah, uh, I am not disputing. So, uh, dis there, there's a new beat 'em up that came out. Apparently, it's not that good. No. By the way, I should, uh, I, should, I, should, I, should, kid. I should point out, by the way, that um, by the time you hear this, it will already be long past the weekend that Chelsea went to New York. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. None of this matters. Matters. Yeah. This, mm. this, this airs in mid-November, so. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. It, it's just, These are airing pretty close to Thanksgiving. A couple weeks before. Welcome to the first Thanksgiving, Pilgrim. Happy Thanksgiving, Pilgrim. Pilgrim. Well, actually, uh, these will be airing about uh, 10 days before my 40th birthday. Mike Riley's 40 years old, Pilgrim. That's right, Pilgrim. I was old enough to have eaten with the first Pilgrims. Hey, bud. Hey, hey buddy. Hey. That was pretty funny, Peter. Hey, Peter. Lois is naked. I don't know uh, why. It's really weird. Why are you looking at her? Like I mean, that I already got. Her? I've already got Bonnie, and she's she's played by Jennifer Tilly. It's way more attractive. Wow. That's actually kind of fucked up. Hi, I'm the, I'm I'm also Joe Swanson. Well, why would you say something like that? Wiener. Wiener schnitzel. Wiener schnitzel. Thoughts on Battle Tank uh, Battle Tanks Rise of the Bl uh, Battle Zone, sorry. Battle Zone Rise of the Black Dogs, Dane. Um and it was okay. I wouldn't say it was terrible, but it was very um, underwhelming, I guess is the word I would use. Yeah. I'd say pretty generic. Like bargain bin. Like bargain bin. Like Bar this bargain is the sort of thing that you see like <laughs> this is the sort of thing that you see like in a freaking like you know, ten ninety nine bin. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think it deserves a three. Um, it's not that bad. Kind of just mediocre. Uh, ugh, the controls are really kind. Of, the controls are good. Um, for the most part, it's kind of slidey at times, but. Really, it's not that terrible. Like, it's not a great game, but it's not terrible. Scores out of 10, Dane. I would give it a 5. Jason. 4. I'll give it a 5 as well. Let's see what the third and final game of this episode is. It's... Okay. Purple. Don't be sad, Tater. Don't be pad, Saiter. Blizzard. Blizzard. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ooh, purple. Oh, sitting on the television. Oh. Now you see, I I am not well versed on things like Starcraft. So. I don't know. This this game was very uh, uh, horny, ambitious oh. for something on the N sixty four. Much like much like Resident Evil two, it also has four full motion video. Yeah. Mm. All right. It's very much a kind of game that would have worked best with a uh, mouse, which there was a <laughs> SNES mouse, but it was only released in Japan also, for the 64DD. They released, so you're saying they released an SNES mouse for the N64DD. Or a, N64, whatever. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Ringo? Oh, I'm tired. Peace and love, peace and love. Do good do good do. At least you can move them all at once. That's nice. So yeah. I have to click each one individually. Oh damn. Give me something to shoot. Let's move. <laughs> Give me something to shoot. Let's move. Oh. Oh, right. It's a real-time strategy game, yeah. Oh, well... Eh, it's too late now. Uh, this this is still interesting. Well, you know what? On, on the other hand, StarCraft is a little more well-received than some other real-time strategy games that Mike's played, so... Ready to serve, my lord. Uh, I, I, I always enjoyed playing Warcraft 2 on PC. Mike has 99 bazillion of something there. Yep. So you can craft away. <laughs> you can Minecraft away. You can build up your army. My army. Yay. They are harvesting. <laughs> they are harvesting. They are making a good harvest. Oh, 
I cannot harvest because my harvesting hand has been wounded. I cannot harvest because I harvest, Bob, the harvest, harvest, harvest. You, uh, you all right there, buddy, Bob? Harvest moon. Harvest is angezogen. I like the harvest moon. Grubin, grab it, Grubin. Is a harvest moon when somebody shows that you shows the mind butt cheeks while you are in the fields? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like post release. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Read it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did did it, did it, did did it, 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 did Looks kind of fucking insane. Huh. But then again, Psycho Gore Man was insane, so. <clears throat> it is an homage to 80s B movie monsters like Gremlins and whatever else. Mm. Give me something to shoot. Ah, well. Let's move. Give me something to shoot. Let's puke. Go, go, go. Spoken like a true, true American. Give me something to shoot. Let's move. I am a real American. I got trolled by a guy in a bear suit, brother. <laughs> I am a real Armenian. Fight for the rights, Armenian. Armenian. <laughs> I sure what's right. I am all your ground. <laughs> I am an Ethiopian oh, fighting for food whenever I can. Um, you know, considering what's going on in this country right now, maybe we should not. What's going on? Shouldn't open up the door. I'm not saying it. Uh. I don't know. I never I didn't hear of anything. I okay. saw we. Okay. Uh whatever. Hey, it don't matter. None of this, None of this matters. matters. And none of this matters. Never Get for what they do. Let's all go down to Gay Paris. Let's build some marines. Let's build some marines. Let's build some marines. And then I'm building more marines. You want a piece of me, boy? You want a piece of meat, boy? You want a piece of meat? Baby, I'm bored. Something, something. 
you... Bert Ward. You wanna fuck? I don't know. You wanna fuck? You wanna fuck? Well, if you're not patient, this game is ass. <laughs> yeah. I am a very impatient man. I am impatient, as in I'm in, I'm a, I'm in a hospital. No, just kidding. No, that's weird. You're weird. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. You want a piece of me, boy? Let's move. This is what I hate about real time strategy games. If I wanted to do this, I'd just join the space army. The space marines. Correct among them. Uh, oh no, incoming. Enemies. Kill my unit! Kill my unit! What do you mean, kill their unit? I mean, I mean kill Bill Volume 1. Great movie. Great movie. Buy my book. Buy my book. Buy my erection. Where's the next dude? Buy my shoe. Yay, I did it. Victory. Victory. Talking about Vince Scully, what? Okay. I'm just asking. Okay. I mean, honestly, I think we're good. I think we've seen all we care. I care to see. Thoughts on StarCraft 64, Dane? Uh, I mean, you can slap any title you want on it. It's still kind of boring, especially to people who have no patience like I do. I mean, it was interesting to look at, but, um, yeah, other than that, I was not impressed. Jason. It's amazing they got it to work on the N64, because this is like, you know, this is meant for a computer mouse. Like, this is this is a PC game. It's, uh, this is also a game of patience. Real-time strategy is a game for thinking people. Or, you know, I mean, it's it's not a bad game. Um, not a game I choose to play very often, though. Yeah, I'm not a fan of real-time strategy games. Like, StarCraft is probably the better of the strategy, RTS games. Um, it's a little more intuitive than most RTSs. That's probably why people get into it easier. But, like, at the same time, eh. I'd rather just be 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 one of the soldiers fighting rather than being like a god figure trying to, you know, act razor all this shit. I don't. It's outside. When I play act razor, I don't play act razor for the god world building bullshit. I play act razor for the side scrolling. So, I would rather that. Scores out of ten, Dane. Five. Jason. Seven. 
Uh, five. On this edition of the show, we played Majora's Mask, Battlezone Rise of the Black Dogs, and Star StarCraft 64. Best game of the episode, Dane. Uh, I would say Zelda. Jason. Zelda. Yeah, Zelda. Uh, if you like what we do on this show, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane, for Joan, and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you.